Hey, F and True followers and F and True entertainers, GC Styles here, and this is Styles on Movies here on our new channel, F and True Entertainment, where we're going to be doing video, uh, movie reviews, game reviews, uh, music reviews, music videos, stuff like that. So please stay tuned for those. But this is my Scream 4 movie review, and I have to say, uh, Wes Craven. Uh, Kevin Williamson, the Weinsteins, really outdid themselves. I mean, I, at first going into this movie, I was like, it's going to be a shitty fourth movie. I mean, really, it, I, I had a feeling it was going to kind of like be like, kind of like the ending to the original trilogy where we're going to see like Gail and uh, Dewey and Sydney meet their final end. Uh, I thought that they were going to introduce a new cast, which they did, but I didn't think that, uh, but uh, I don't want to try to give out too much information. I really enjoyed this movie, so I'm just going to give you a brief rundown on how the plot played out. I'm not really going to give you any of the news on who uh, who the killer was or anything like this. Um, basically, uh, Scream 4 is the fourth installment of the Scream series. Uh, it was originally not gonna happen because they weren't gonna do it if they couldn't get Nev Campbell um, originally they were just gonna have Dewey uh, or they were gonna have David Arquette just do the movie and then it turned out that they were able to get uh, Nev Campbell and they were able to get get uh, get Courtney Cox to come back and do reprise their roles as Sydney and Gail Weathers and I thought that was perfect I mean it's not Scream without Nev Campbell and it's not Scream without Gail Weathers alongside, uh, I mean, um, Courtney Cox alongside David Arquette. Uh, also, I'm kind of upset that they killed uh, Ryan, uh, I'm sorry, Ryan, Randy in Scream 2. Uh, he was the movie buff in the movie, uh, in the movie, he played the movie buff, which was kind of, you know, upsetting. I kind of would have loved to have seen him continue into the fourth movie. I didn't really like that at all. But the, basically, the plot takes place 15 years after the uh, uh, 15 year anniversary after the murders by uh, Billy Loomis and Stu Mocker. Uh, basically, the killer comes back uh, because Sydney comes back to Woodsboro to basically promote her book. We see. Uh, the book was called Out of the Shadows. It's basically a book based on her experiences dealing with the, the traumatic, uh, the traumatic incidents that she had faced over the, uh, within the last three movies over the last couple of years. Uh, also, it, it, they played it out how Gail gave up her spot in gave up her spot in media to be with Dewey. We see uh, Dewey is the town sheriff now. Um, it was all basically the same elements of the original series. They just revamped it. I mean, they went web with this. Uh, the killer became uh, smarter. The, the, the real good side about this movie that I actually enjoyed was... They didn't use some little voice box, voiceover type bullcrap this time. They actually, um, the way that they did the movie, they actually used a real life person to do the voice of Ghostface, which how they, they what they call the screen mask. They call him Ghostface, and this guy was just. They made him really vicious. I mean, you thought he was vicious in the morning in the in the first, the original series where. Um, he threatens Drew Barrymore. He's like, if you hang up on me, I'll gut you like a fish. And and uh, it's like, if you hang up on me, I'll kill you like you did your mother. And tell that you know, and all this inf all this stuff. And it was like in this one, it was crazy. It was wicked crazy. It was definitely worth the seven twenty five I paid to go see it. Um, if you guys are even if you're not a fan of the screen movies, but you're a fan of like David Arquette or Courtney Cox or Nev Campbell, or you just like Wes Craven. Or you're a big fan of like the Weinstein's? Go check it out. I mean, the movie was done very good. Um, it got you really thinking because they kind of like half through, like you get into the movie, and it's almost like the same thing. Um, 
where you kind of see the same elements that was going on with Sydney in the first movie. You kind of see it progressing with her cousin, um, the boyfriend sneaking through the bedroom window at night, the boyfriend being strange and mysterious, but that's not the case. I'm not trying to give away any information. I'm not giving you out the ending or spoilers or anything like that. I would say, guys, go check this movie out. It's definitely worth it. The killer, the the the, the way that they did this, they all the killings got were put on camera, like caught on webcam, and they uploaded it to the net. They were trying to redirect, uh, stab. And the way that they were going with this movie, they were going to try to introduce a new leading character uh, for the fifth one. Because I think this is going to be at the beginning of a new series. I think they're going to try to uh, bleed out the original characters like Dewey and uh, Gail and Sydney. So, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, movie review, our first one. Definitely enjoyed this movie. Uh, I was at the edge of my seat through the entire movie. I didn't see the 180 that came at the end. I wasn't expecting that. With like a lot of Wes Craven movies, you don't really expect it. So, guys, check it out, please. Let me know what you think. Your comments, if you've already seen it, let me know. And this is JC Styles signing off.